All right, you guys, today we are going to be animating text with GSAP, as promised. And that's going to be animated on page load and page scroll. And that's pretty cool. Also, you can uh, animate images with this code. Actually, this is part of the code from last week, but I adjusted a little bit to work for the text reveal on scroll. And this is a little bit too much information, so let's get into it and I will explain things we go. All right, so let's see. This is what happens when you basically load the page. But once you scroll uh, and you come back to the this section of the page, this will not animate. So this happens only on page load, period. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this is a very cool animation for images. Let's see it again. I mean, okay. So I have the same class on the text and on images and they all animate in the same way. Obviously you could use different classes so this doesn't animate in the same way. And so you would have basically a different animation for the text or you can just have the Elementor native animations set for this, which I would recommend better. But, <laughs> and this is another animation that I have added on this object, which is actually an image. So as you can see, if we scroll up and down on this page, these uh, elements animate all the time. And if you don't want that, there is a solution and it's very, very easy and it's called delete. <laughs> There's a, a section of the code that we just delete if we don't want this to happen every single time we scroll on the page because it can get any annoying and uh, maybe just, yeah, just annoying. All right, so I already have obviously text on the page and I, in order to save time, I'm not going to be styling this in any other way, but the way it is right now. So as you can see, we have the text in, in a container and we have the, the heading element. As, a, as you can see, the HTML tag is an H1. So remember this because if you change it to a different kind of element, HTML element, you will have to change that in your code as well. Okay. So, okay, let's go to our code for this portion of the animation. So remember, this is on page load. So this is the code for on page load and nothing else. That's it. All right. So if you have, again, I have to explain this. So if you have animation if you're animating the h1 on the page you will not see it because it will load at the same time as it loads the text in view i hope this is clear anyway so let's move on and what we have here is basically the gsap script as well as a script for the split type this is a javascript library and is you can find it here on npm if you're interested to read a little bit more about it GSAP does have its own split type plugin, but that costs money. And if you just want to add a little bit of animation and you don't use this a lot, I don't think it's worth buying it. It's a lot. It's, I think I've heard it's a hundred bucks per month, which is freaking crazy. Anyway, so this is what we have. And if you want, for example, to animate, not to have a stagger, as you can see, let me just update this again and let's go and have a look. As you can see, there's a stagger. And if we don't want the stagger to happen, we simply delete the stagger and let's see what happens now. And this is what happens. So the text just slides in uh, as you can see it. And if you want this to have some delay, Although I don't recommend it because on load, you want people to see what's on the page. Okay, so there's a portion of CSS that you need to add. And this is basically the class that is being created for each word and for each character of the word. So let's inspect this. Let's go see what I'm talking about because this is probably Chinese. <laughs> Sounds like Chinese. Okay, and as you can see, this is this is our heading, yes? And it creates lines, words, and then classes. And each class is assigned, basically each letter of the word is assigned 
the same class and what this does is basically just make sure that the, tra the transition uh, and um, the way the text comes in is smooth and it looks nice so let's see if for example delete this let me update and let's see what happens let me just update and nothing happens because this portion here basically it pushes the text so these two lines of code are extremely important let's see what happens if we comment this out let's go back and as you can see it's super super fast if we want to make it even smoother than it is we can go up to let's say 8.8 seconds and it's pretty smooth I think I think it's really nice and let me go back and activate the stagger effect and let's see what happens I think it's pretty smooth like this and yes as I said you can play around all right so basically this is what we can do with the page load animation so I honestly just recommend having this maybe on the heading of the hero section and that's it also if as I said this is where you will change your HTML tag if you are changing this to an h2 h3 a p a span or whatever make sure that you change it here because otherwise it's not going to be working and another thing i know that this, this like sounds a little bit complicated but it's not so as you can see i have it on the heading i have a class of text and what does this do let's go back in the container and as you can see i have an overflow hidden so if I comment this out, let's see what happens. The text basically is shown before uh, it loads on the page. And obviously we don't want that because it looks... Why would you do that first of all? And this way it's very very nice and very smooth. So you need to make sure that you add this piece of code in the container that the text sits in and go to the heading and give the heading a class of text or any class that you want but make sure that is the same <laughs> as the one in the code in the container as easy as that also if you want to replace the h1 with the actual h1 class let's go and look for it let's go to inspect and as you can see we have the elementor heading title so this is the class for this and let's go and change it in here update and let's see if it's still working and it is still working so yeah you can do that instead of just having the, the html tag you can replace it with the class all right now let's move on to our scroll trigger animation for text but you can also bonus points as i said earlier you can use it for images because as if you recognize this this code is the code that i used last week i just adjust it here and there and i can we can adjust it even further as we do things right now so Actually, there's not much to do except for copying and pasting this text, making sure that you have this reveal text on the elements that you want to animate. As you can see, this heading has that class, this image has the same class, and even this image has the same class. Obviously, this doesn't have, some of these elements don't have on purpose, so we just see how things work okay so let's go back to our code and let me explain so basically as I said we have to make sure that this class here is the same as is on as set on the things that we want to animate and then we can 
play with the actual animation and if you go to Greenstock and you go to their documentation you see that they have here a visualizer for the the easing of the animation so for example let's let's try this one or let's try the bounce and let's see what happens so this is where you would replace it and we say bounce and let me update and let's see so watch out as you can see things kind of like bouncing as the animation the easing says so let's get something let's go to elastic i'm trying this out to show you that how uh, interesting they are and they're more um, and I think the elastic one is pretty cool actually I do like it a lot and the one that I realized that I like is this one stepped and let's say stepped and update let's go and see it has kind of a liquid effect if I'm not mistaken on the images kind of if you can see that let's see okay maybe it's just me it's very cool i like it a lot don't use it on everything that you have on your page by the way <laughs> all right so look at this boom how cool and let me just go back and let me explain to you for example now everything was animating when we were scrolling up and down up and down so if you don't want that just simply delete this portion and it will animate or on scroll on scroll up for example once but not again if you go back again so let's go back and as you can see nothing animates again which is good because you don't want this to be tiring, exhausting, and people get bored or just or just leave your website. And another thing, as you can see, I have these markers here on the side. These are just for me, for my reference, to see where the animations start and blah, blah, blah. And what you can do is simply delete this and update. And as you can see, everything is gone. How nice. Let's just do this again. Oh, let me reactivate this code let's update and oops and let me also add the class of text margin let's do it again how cool and you can play around with this as you like <laughs> for example let's try another one i don't know what expo does i don't know if i tried it Nothing too interesting. Let's see rough. Hmm. Not too rough, to be honest. <laughs> it's actually really smooth. So this is what you can do. I will leave links to to the Greensock documents and to the split type uh, library. So you can read up on things and if there's an update that i come upon i will have it in the description below as i have updates to the image reveal video and this will be under the pinned comment that i have on there so if there's anything that i missed in this video and somehow uh, things are not working for you guys let me know and 
and I will jump in and help you. Also, probably you're wondering why do I have two HTML uh, widgets here? It's just for me to make sure that I don't get stuck in all this code. But obviously you should actually uh, combine the code and uh, you can do this. Just copy this uh, variable here and the code that comes with it and simply paste it under the script here and also go back and copy the split type library link and just paste it in here and then you can simply delete this code i'm gonna just comment it out because i want it here but just simply delete it and now you are good to go let's see how this works and as you can see it works it works fine as it worked before <laughs> so yeah make sure that you do that if you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.